And we're also following developing news from Independence, where school officials are meeting right now. It looks like there is no end in sight to that big labor dispute in the Brexville Broadview Heights School District, and students are due back in class in less than two weeks. News Channel 5's Deborah Lee is live there. And Deb, I know earlier in the week, teachers had a plan that could have avoided a strike. That's right, and as you can see behind me, there are a large, uh, there's a large number of teachers here, even at this late hour. They've been here since well before six o'clock. They spent the evening here waiting for some sort of good news to come out of these contract talks that are going on inside with a federal mediator. Now, they wanted the school board to sign a pledge, which simply states that teachers and support staff pledge not to strike, and the board pledges not to implement a forced contract. The board does not, they are not planning to sign the pledge. They are not planning to sign the pledge. They have a Saturday morning work session. There are no plans to sign our pledge. I'm pretty disappointed in, in that, and because it's just, it was an easy way for the board to kind of bring trust back to the negotiations and do what's right for the kids, do what's right for the community, and, and do what's right for everyone involved. If they don't ever sign the pledge, will there be a strike? I really have no idea. It, that is entirely in the board's hands right now. But again, the positive news tonight is that contract talks have been underway since about 6 o'clock. And of course, now it's after 11, five hours later, going on here with the federal mediator. And some of the teachers have been here all evening waiting for word. Now, we've been unable to talk with anyone from the board because, as I said, they've been in negotiations all evening. But the superintendent did tell us a few days ago that um, he's sure that the board will respectfully review this pledge and that board members are fully committed to the possibilities of the negotiation process. Live in Independence, Deborah Lee, News Channel 5.